first plane to pioneer the use of onboard flight computers was the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The F-16s of 4th Fighter Squadron at Hill Air Force Base near Salt Lake City, Utah are on standby, ready to deploy to a war zone at a moment's notice. I'm Major Tom Hagen, F-16 pilot with the 4th Fighter Squadron. Major Hagen has been an F-16 pilot for 10 years. Well, the F-16 was originally designed as a low-cost, lightweight fighter, and now it has evolved through many years uh, to a very high-tech weapon system. We drop many different types of air-to-ground ordnance, so it's a very, very dynamic jet. Major Tom Hagen and three other F-16 pilots are going on a bombing training mission. In peacetime, they practice at least three times a week. Even on training missions, the pilots put their lives on the line. The major danger is the ground. Our number one concern when we're flying low altitude is to not hit the ground. So maintaining our altitude awareness and our uh, situational awareness with respect to terrain and each other is a major issue. The F-16s of 4th Squadron are strike bombers designed to take out targets on the ground. Our primary job is dropping bombs, primarily laser-guided bombs. We carry just about all different types of bombs that you might imagine. Two different types of air-to-air -air missiles, rockets for marking uh, targets and whatnot. Uh, so just about every piece of ordnance that you can think about, we carry on a jet. The F-16 is an extremely agile plane, something it achieves with a revolutionary design concept. It has an airframe that is designed to not stay in the air. Traditional planes like the F-15 or civilian airliners have stable aerodynamic airframes that will naturally return to level safe flight if left to their own devices. The F-16 uses an entirely different concept built into its design and manufacture. It has an aerodynamically unstable airframe that constantly wants to bank and spin and that willingness to turn helps the plane to perform complex maneuvers. But of course, the more unstable the design, the less the plane wants to right itself and stay in the air. The only solution is to have a powerful onboard computer constantly correcting the inherent instability by moving the flaps, rudder, and aerolins thousands of times a second in conjunction with the pilot's inputs. Without the computer, the F-16 would literally fall out of the sky. From the pilot's perspective, it's very stable. From a uh, aeronautics perspective, it's an unstable aircraft. With a single powerful engine, the F-16 is much smaller and lighter than the F-15. Well, it's a big acceleration. Roller coaster rides, whatnot, it's very difficult to uh, imagine that, but it's a big kick when we start running down the runway. The engine has uh, an afterburner on it, so uh, we can select AB thrust, which gives us about 28,000 pounds of thrust. It goes up to speeds of 800 knots and uh, 2.0 Mach, so it's a very fast jet as well. Unlike the F-15, which doesn't like to fly down low, the F-16 can operate at any altitude. We uh, work in all altitude regimes from uh, way down at 100 feet all the way up to the high 30s. We can bomb from, from very, very low to very, very high. From the various campaigns that we've seen uh, in the past 20 years, it's an extremely lethal weapon system. Like the F-15 and the Harrier jump jet, the F-16 has been a very successful frontline strike plane, but it too has one great weakness. It can be detected by radar, and so could be vulnerable to anti-aircraft fire or surface-to-air missiles. What was needed was a plane that was invisible to radar, a plane that was stealthy.